seen that. Thanks. All right, Taylor, do you right. do you want to tell Aaron your poop story while we're here so he can ask you the questions? Because this is the greatest story of all time, Aaron. Uh, you're hyping it up too much. Oh, no. I don't know if it's, it's going to live up to it. Oh, it's so good. It... <sighs> Look, I was in a different place, okay? <laughs> you got to know that going into it. We all were. Are we off the air? <sighs> we are still alive. We are still alive. Okay. But this is the story. You're going to make me tell the story a second time live? Yes. What would you say, Aaron? Is it long? No, no, no. I was just, no, I said, could you, is it a story that can be told live? Yeah. 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 Uh, yes. Should it be? Probably not. No. But it can be. All right, so I'm in the year the year was 2007. <laughs> I I had a new girlfriend, and her family was moving, so I decided, hey, I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna help and make a good impression. So I help her and her family move all day. We're at her new place, and I decide I need to go to the bathroom. I don't like going to the bathroom in, in foreign bathrooms because I don't know what foreign, the water pressure is. Foreign bathrooms. <laughs> foreign bathroom. <laughs> They're just Mexican. So, They're not, you, you didn't leave anywhere. This is in America. So <laughs> okay, sure. I go to the bathroom. Oh, we have a lot of pizza. I have to take a dump. I go and I take a dump and come to find out someone who had gone to the bathroom before me had clogged the toilet. Because when I went to flush, it was already it was already clocked. I couldn't even flush, and I just had this big turd floating. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh man, I need to find a plunger. I need to take care of this." Looking around, of course, it's it's a new it's a new place, so there's no plunger. There's nothing I can do. I'm like, I'm gonna have to leave this bathroom and tell someone that these people that I've just barely met today, and it's gonna of course it's gonna sound dumb that I say, "Look." I just, I just crapped in this toilet, but I, I didn't clog it. I promise. They're not going to believe me. I don't even, I don't, my, there were so many things going through my head at the time. I didn't know what to do. So, the, or the, my other thought was I was going to go look for a solution. Someone else was going to come in the bathroom and just assume that I crapped and didn't flush. Like, that's the kind of guy that I am. All these situations played out in my head. I thought there's only one thing that I can do is I got to get rid of the poop like quietly. <laughs> so no one knows. And then I can, I can take care of the actual clogged toilet problem. I'm panicking. I, I don't know what which, to do. And I decide. Which the funny that? part is, is if someone came in and had seen you didn't flush the toilet, you know what they would have done? Try to flush the toilet yeah, and flush. realized, oh, the toilet's clogged. Yeah, but it's still my my fear was they think this they guy would know shows you up day one and clogs the toilet. <laughs> they won't know that I didn't clog it, and no one's gonna believe that I said that I didn't clog it, but I did poop in it. <laughs> All of these things in my head uh -huh. were worse than than what happened. What I ended up doing. <laughs> so. I decide I got to get rid of the evidence. Yeah. I <laughs> I get a bunch of toilet paper, like a bunch. I just wrap it, wrap it, wrap it around my hand like 50 times. I reach in, I grab the turd, and I'm the, I open the bathroom window, I push out the screen, and I drop it out. With, with the toilet paper and everything, I just drop it out. In my head, I'm thinking, Into okay, the backyard, Now right? I can leave the bathroom. It, it was into the side of the house. I'm thinking now I can leave, I can go, and then I can dispose of it from the outside and be done with it. No one will know the difference. Yeah. Because then I can say, hey, guys, do we have a plunger? Someone clogged the toilet. I need to go to the bathroom. Here, let me, let me unclog it. I'll be the hero. <laughs> and then everything's fine. So that, that is kind of what happens. I, I leave the bathroom. It looks like there's just some toilet paper in the in the toilet it looks clogged i go and i get the plunger i unplunge the bathroom wait i didn't know it's that done. i didn't know you went and got a plunger this is yeah they had to go they, they had to go find it 
because it was kind of packed with with the other bathroom stuff. Wait, so, so you go and you tell them that it's clogged and you need to unclog it, and that was okay with you? Yeah, because because for some reason that to me felt like <laughs> I could explain that it wasn't me, but I was willing to unclog it. Why which not? Was the why truth. not just I, look, make that the move? Was, <laughs> why not just make that idea? Make that Stop the move. Stop arguing with something you can't change now. I'm into this story. I need to hear the ending to it. <laughs> I just, I just want to so, know why he didn't, he didn't just do that move for when it was his own poop. Just be like, oh, the toilet's clogged. Do you guys have a, a plunger so I can go to the restroom? Because my fear was me leaving the bathroom to go tell someone. Someone else was going to come in. Yeah, yeah. There okay. was that that small window of someone yeah. going in and not knowing that I was looking for a, a way to fix everything, yeah, and okay. I just left it like that. Of course. That was my rational thought. Yeah. So I unclogged the toilet. Everything's good. And now I'm like, okay, now comes the business. Of, I got to get rid of the, the, the poop on the side of the house. <laughs> so I go over there and I'm, I'm trying to get to it. And like, every time I go to like, try, I, I got a bunch of paper towels. Every time I try to go get it, I was just going to throw it over the wall into the neighbor's backyard. That was my rational thinking. Every time I go, something comes around the corner. Cause people are walking back and forth on the side of this house, moving stuff like into the backyard. Yeah. So I don't get this opportunity every time. And then like there was this one time that I even almost had it like in my hand and I saw her dad come around the corner and I'm about to throw it. And because the toilet paper is wet, it just like falls back down to the ground. I'm like, this is never going to happen. So I leave. I'm kind of waiting for things to settle down. And then somebody finds it. Uh, it was ooh. It was her mom finds it and i don't even know until like there's a crowd gathering around it and they're trying to figure out what this is they actually have it with the toilet with the paper towel that i had gotten and they're they are like holding it in their hands like examining it no one can even tell that it's poop like that's one of the theories <laughs> there's another what is one of the other theories i'm is, concerned about happened. your your digestive system taylor yeah i don't know <laughs> I mean, as far as I remember, it was just a, like a normal log, so I don't know what was so hard to figure out. But it just happened to be by there was like a plum tree on the other side of this wall in the neighbor's yard, and it kind of looked like rotted. It kind of looked like a rotted fruit. So people were there like, "Oh, is this rotted fruit? Like, what is this?" And then people theorized that it was actually the neighbors had pooped and thrown it over into this. Yard. <laughs> so I'm like. This is perfect. I was like, yeah, I bet it was the neighbors. You know, I, I, I can run with this story. Uh, so then it that's that's kind of the end of it. Um, no one really knows at this time that it was me. At the, I, I, I found out past. years later that her mom like almost immediately suspected that it was me. Well, you said Crystal which, asked you that night when you guys were hanging out still. Oh, yeah. So, so she asked me and I was like, no, what? That's crazy. And she's like, okay, well, yeah, I didn't think so. I'd only known her for maybe a month. And so years later, years later, this was probably like five years later, I, I had figured the statute of limitations had expired. <laughs> and one night I was like, look, I want to tell you something. She's like, what? I said, look, I said, don't judge. I said, I, I, I just got to tell you the truth. And as soon as I said it, she said, that was your poop, wasn't it? <laughs> she knew. She knew. Wow. So, so I told her the story about it. We had a little laugh. But then, like I said, come to find out that her mom had like almost immediately suspected it was me, which, although it was me, was kind of offensive to me because I said, she doesn't know what kind of person I am. Like, why would she just assume <laughs> that that's something that I would do? Because that's not something a rational person would do. <laughs> It, it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit to think that, like, right from the beginning, she just thought it was me. She could tell your character. She knew. <laughs> but uh, that's my poop story. Oh, wow. Man. That's a great poop story. It's it's one of them. <laughs> it's one I mean, that one you have. of them. <laughs> and one of the greats. 